subscribe. Click on the bell. Like, comment, share. Watch the video clip showing how Mini Labu Sayong is produced. What is the raw material used here? Clay is the raw material used in this product. After the shape of the mini labu sayong is formed, what is the next process? The mini labu sayong is baked in a kiln. This is an example of ceramic. Based on this, how would you define ceramics in simple terms? The term ceramics refers to any object made of baked clay. The uses of ceramics can be grouped under the following categories. They are used as construction materials, kitchenware and household fixtures, electrical insulators, microchips, refractory materials, surgical and dental apparatus as well as decorative materials. Study the photographs shown. They are examples of the uses of ceramics in one of the categories. Key in the category that best represents the examples shown. Study the table on the uses of ceramics. Ceramics can be used in many applications as shown in the table. However, each application is based on certain special properties of the ceramic material. Click on each row in the table to study the examples of the uses of ceramics in the different categories. Discuss and key in the space provided the special properties needed for each category. Being hard and strong, ceramics are suitable for making materials such as bricks, tiles, cement and pipes. Ceramics are chemically inert and non-corrosive. They are used extensively as kitchenware such as clay pots, porcelain plates, bowls, mugs and other household fixtures such as toilet bowls, sinks and bathtubs. The ability to withstand heat and pressure enables ceramics to be used as refractory materials or refractories in linings of high temperature industrial furnace and nuclear reactors as well as space shuttle tiles. Ceramics are used in microchips because they have semiconducting properties. Microchips are not only found in computers but in televisions, radios, calculators, handphones and other electronic devices.
Since ceramics are good insulators of electricity, they are used as insulators for toasters, iron, ovens, as well as spark plugs. Inert both biologically and chemically, hard and resistant to compression make ceramics appropriate to be made into dental crowns, artificial limbs, and bones. Ceramics are not corrosive, durable, attractive, and can be made into different shapes make ceramics good materials for making decorative items such as porcelain vases and other ornamental items. In this lesson, you have learned that the uses of ceramics and the properties of ceramics. The concept map summarizes the categories of uses of ceramics, some examples, and the properties of ceramics related to their use. Click on each of the categories of use to find out more. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like the video. And don't forget to subscribe.